Come here, Rex. <laughs> yeah, good to see you too, Rex. Rex has returned. I am inevitable. Lieutenant Kayla Detmer here from Star Trek Discovery, here to ask you to join in with Commodore Ty to discover the world of pop culture. The adventure has begun. Incoming message from Commodore Ty. Hello, your Commodore Ty Coles here with a Bad Batch review. This one will be season one, episode seven, Battle Sky. The Bad Batch are just finished another mission for Sid. Drive on line. Got it. But are kind of disappointed in how they were paid for this. Whoa, 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 whoa. You said the job paid three times this. For me, not for you. And just how is this a mutually beneficial arrangement? You're breathing, aren't you? Rather generous considering the debt you owe me. Well, they dropped the ball on the tactical droid, and we see that Sid has been providing for them. Like the fuel, the equipment, the sh where they can dock their ships, all that stuff. She's paying for it. Hell, she's even paying for records and Omega's after uh, mission snack. Part of the mission. Mm hmm. I'll be 14 credits for the Mantel mix. Oh, mm. uh, yeah. Uh, put it on such time. So I see it quite fairly that she's doing that. She's giving them some money still, but she's getting all this money back in return because she's providing all this service for them. Some of the guys at the bar were egged on by this mysterious guest there. He scares them off. <laughs> And it ends up being their old pal, Captain Rex. Rex. Oh, great. Another clone. Just what I needed. Yes, Captain Rex is finally back in here. After talking to him for a bit, and then he sees Record get his headaches, which have become more and more frequent, he gets kind of freaked out because they still have their inhibitor chips and Rex has first-hand knowledge on what those things can do. Rex, those chips make you a threat to everyone around you, even her. You're all ticking time bombs. Take it easy, Captain. What's in your head is more dangerous than you can imagine. So, not wanting to take any chances, heck, after four episodes saying this was the most important thing for them to do, finally finishes the scanner to detect their inhibitor chip. Chip scanner coming. Since Rex's chip was removed, I am able to establish a baseline by comparing his brain scan to ours, allowing for the detection of any cellular anomaly. He means it's almost finished. They meet Rex at Baraka, a starship graveyard planet, controlled by the Strapper Guild. Okay, so they're trying to avoid them while well, going into this old Jedi cruiser to use the medical bay. That's where we're heading. Then why don't we land all the way over here? Everyone down. That's why. It's the Scrapper Guild. They're still keeping this up. That Wrecker is afraid of heights. They've been keeping that very consistent. Like, you see it when they're trying to get into the ship? And then when they're trying to swing across. That was close. Interesting fact, Record can't make it because he's too big. So he starts plummeting and he can only say he's been captured by the beast that was in the Death Star uh, trash compactor, but I think a more adult version of said beast. 
So they're in the medical bay. They activate the equipment. And just as they're getting record prep and into the machine, his inhibitor chip activates. And holy crap. <laughs> Because we all know Wrecker is a fun-loving guy, but he's a brute. And guess what? He shows how scary and powerful he could be. He almost killed Omega. This isn't you, Wrecker. It's the inhibitor chip. Conspiring with traitors makes you guilty of treason. But they managed to subdue him, and his chip is removed. And he recovers. And the rest of them get their inhibitor chips removed. Hey kid, why the long face? He's awake! Oh, uh, you made it. Welcome back. One chip down, three to go. And you have this touching moment between Wrecker and Omega, because Wrecker realized what he was doing the entire time. And he felt ashamed that he was going to hurt Omega I'm sorry the mission's over we can't break tradition thanks kid shows the same characteristic traits that she showed with Crosshair Rex leaves but gives Hunter and them a proposition to come with him and help fight with him the Republic's gone Rex uh, not all of it we're here. Others are out there too. Your squad's skills would be a tremendous asset. Hunter still doesn't know what the hell he wants to do. Okay, even though you have a bounty hunter looking after you, you're going to be with other people that have the same mindset, so you're going to be off the grid. So that's the safest thing to do. And we could have seen the first stages of the rebellion with through the Bad Batch's eyes. But no, it's been seven fucking episodes figure out what you want to do so rex leaves and hunter is spotted by the scrappers guild and the scrappers guild is going to notify the empire intruders confirm of a jedi cruiser notify the empire so you probably will see crosshair next episode and finally after Four episodes, we'll finally get another Empire-focused one because that's something that has been missing, is what's happening with the Empire. It was a decent episode, but it's hard to describe this episode. It was good, but it wasn't good. Same deal. Like, it had moments like, holy crap moments, but it just felt like it dragged too much. And I kind of wish Record just ran off, and that would have added more problems to the Bad Batch. I don't know, it's something just missing, can't put my finger on it, but for now, I'm enjoying the last couple of episodes, and I hope it continues on this path. So for your Commodore Ty Cole, may the Force be with you, over and out. Thank you for watching the video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, watch one of my many other videos, and if you like what you see, you can support the channel by donating to my PayPal. So, for Commodore Tide, live long and prosper all, and for now, until next time, the hail and frequencies are closed.